lockdown has been particularly difficult where you know, individuals uh, are increasingly isolating themselves in their houses or in their bedrooms and accessing online material and being groomed by people uh, that they've probably never met before um, or introduced to this by someone that they might have met fleetingly in a, uh, a social uh, occasion or something else uh, and pointed in the direction of materials that uh, will take them up those levels of grooming to see whether they are just supporters or whether they're going to carry out actions on behalf of different terrorist groupings. And all the terrorist groupings are at it. This individual took uh, a lot of care to try and uh, avoid him being tracked because the government agencies are monitoring as many of these sites as they can possibly get to um, so they can see who's logging in. Um, and if people do access the material, it's not long before some very big burly police um, officers uh, will come and knock their front doors down and, and um, take them away for questioning. However, you, the, the sites are being constantly changed and the people that are carrying out the grooming are very, very good at what they do. Uh, and therefore, it's difficult for law enforcement to keep up with it. We have to remember since the the horrible attacks in London in 2017, 31 attacks have been thwarted by counter-terrorism police. Um, and during the, the lockdown itself, seven late-stage attacks have been thwarted. Um, so you know, the, the threat is significant.